Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Today I have some incredible news, in my opinion at least. I am a member of an RC multi-rotor group. One of our members, Ryan of Mini Quad Test Bench, mentioned today that he's been testing these new prototype batteries for a couple of months. And apparently they just went live, sales. They are made with graphene. This is the first commercial battery that I've seen that uses graphene technology. So you can watch this uh, promotion video. I'm gonna have a link to this down below in the description. It doesn't say a whole lot, but if you look at the product page on the Hobby King website, some of the information that they give, it has a higher C constant. So basically you can get more amperage throughput from these batteries than you would a traditional battery as a result of the graphene layer that they've embedded in the battery. And so my first question was, hey, is this just a marketing gimmick? Are they just calling it graphene? But here on the product page, they actually say the battery structure to form a single layer of graphene just 0.335 nanometers thick. So these do apparently actually contain graphene. And I was just reading recently that we are capable of mass producing graphene now. We have created factories for this sort of thing. So really, really interesting stuff. One of the other benefits of graphene, other than the higher C constant, and, and by the way, switching over to a regular Turnigy Nanotech battery, this is, this is a non-graphene battery of the same milliamp hour rating. It looks like uh, 45C is the constant, 90C is the burst for this graphene battery, 65C is the constant, and 130C is the burst. So it does seem to have you know, a substantial improvement, you know, 15C, something like that. So one of the other advantages that I see is cycle life these graphene batteries appear to last 600 plus cycles. Now I did some research and it appears that regular LiPoly batteries are expected to last about 100 cycles if you balance them on a regular basis. You know, they don't give a number, but they say that these Turnigy Nanotechs last almost double that. So what, 200 plus cycles, something like that? So these are 600 plus. And Ryan was saying that uh, one of the guys on the RC forum that he's a member of mentioned that he's performed a thousand cycles and he's only seeing 20% reduction in capacity. He's seeing 80% of the full capacity of the battery. So that's, that's really interesting. It's kind of hearsay at this point. I don't actually have one of these batteries to, to test out, but it's, it's fascinating. And what I keep thinking as I see this technology is I keep thinking, okay, so for the hobby market, cool, you know, you, your battery lasts a little longer, you get slightly higher throughput, which means that, you know, you can pump more current into your motors, which means that you get more, more punch, right? That's great. Great for the RC market. But what really excites me about this is if this technology is making it into pouch style RC LiPoly batteries, when's it gonna make it into LifePo 4 batteries or 18650 cells that make it into the Tesla Roadster, electric cars, electric bicycles, personal electric vehicles like the Boosted Board Dual Plus. What effect is this going to have on those vehicles? And that's what's really exciting to me. You you know, it doesn't seem like you get any extra capacity, but that additional throughput and most importantly, that additional cycle life could really make these batteries desirable and affordable in the solar industry, in the, in the EV market. So yeah, this is, I think it's really incredible. I think this is fantastic news. If you want to go buy one of these batteries, I've got a link down below in the description. Check them out, order one. Let me know what you think. You know, if you have insider information, if you've been using these for a little while, if, if you know something that I don't know, leave me a comment comment down below. As always, this is Jesse with Create This. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.